in our advanced options, uh, we've got a, a bullet lookup that includes your uh, bullet make and ballistic coefficient. So Berger, uh, let's do a, a seven millimeter, and we're going to do 168 grain uh, VLD, and that gives us our diameter weight and our ballistic coefficient. Now, if we select that OK, that'll populate our bullet BC field. If we'd like to know what our G7 is, that's available. We we also have a load lookup that you can pick from uh, a database of, of standard loads that are offered from manufacturers like Black Hills or, uh, or Hornaday or Remington. Let's say we've got a Hornaday, or here's a Federal, uh, Federal Gold Medal, and we're going to do the 308, and we have the 168 Sierra Match King. So we're looking at a BC of 462 and a velocity of 2600, and that'll populate those items. Uh, you also have a spin drift options uh, where you can set your bullet parameters and it will calculate your spin drift and you've got a Coriolis for the spin of the earth correction uh, and that's pretty straightforward too. That's uh, the direction of fire, your azimuth and then uh, your latitude that you're shooting from. Uh, and then uh, finally, in the last uh, advanced option is your trajectory validation. And in this uh, section we can go through and input our actual drops uh, out of our rifle so that we can calculate what the real velocity is or what your true ballistic coefficient is. So that's pretty straightforward. And finally, uh, there are a set of help files available for every page. Let's say we look at the options and it will tell you about spin drift calculations, what type of inputs, or Coriolis, what type of inputs, and, uh, and then there's, there's your calculate BC. That's your trajectory validation. So uh, uh, help files are handy there uh, if you do get a, uh, stuck on one area. So um, make sure you go through and visit the next set of videos that fully document all the inputs for the different tabs.